Hi friends and fellow nostalgia buffs. I'm here in the Palm Springs, California, Uptown Art District, and today I'm gonna show you the former home of actress and comedian Lily Tomlin. It's less than a mile away from her star on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars, which I'm also gonna show you on the way to her house. So who's a fan of Lily Tomlin? Anyone else? And if you make it to the end of this video, I'll tell you why I had to change the name of my channel. Thanks for joining me on another trip down memory lane. As you can see, it's a really beautiful day here in uh, Palm Springs. I'm gonna start today's uh, trip right across the street, right in front of the entrance to the corridor shopping area that you see there. And the reason I'm starting there is because Lily Tomlin and her wife, Jane Wagner, have a star on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars. And their former home is just a few blocks up the street. So I'm gonna walk to the house and show you how to get there from their star. For those of you who might not be familiar with Lily Tomlin, she got her big break back in 1968 on the NBC TV sitcom Rowan and Martin's Laughing. The very popular show ran from 1968 to 1973, and TV Guide named it one of the 50 greatest TV shows of all time. It was certainly one of my favorite TV shows, and mostly because of Lily Tomlin. And our characters like Ernestine, remember one ringy dingy, two ringy dingy? And how about Edith Ann and her line, and that's the truth. I became an instant fan of Lily Tomlin more than 50 years ago, and I'm still a fan today. I've seen all of her movies, and I remember back in the 1980s seeing her in the theater in her one-woman play, Search for Signs of Intelligent Life in the Universe. Seeing those uh, bugs drive by really makes me miss my old, uh, my old VW bug. I had one for about 10 years. How many of you had a VW bug? It kind of blows my mind, as we used to say back in the day, that Lily Tomlin is now 79 years old. She'll turn 80 this year. And she's still making me laugh just as much as she did back in the 1960s. I know, it's awful bright. I don't know if you can see their uh, stars behind me. Oh. Right there, and we got uh, Lindsay Wagner as well, and uh, none other than Linda Carter. Uh, can you see that? Lily and Jane are in very good company here with Wonder Woman Linda Carter and Bionic Woman Lindsay Wagner. Since most of the Hollywood stars and celebrities have owned homes here in Palm Springs, we have our own version of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So how many of you are also fans of Tomlin? On the Netflix series, Grace and Frankie. She plays Frankie, and one of my other favorite actresses, Jane Fonda, plays Grace. The series started in 2015, and is now in its fifth season. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Especially if you like the Golden Girls. It's sort of an updated, more sophisticated variation on the Golden Girls, where two women in their 70s find themselves unlikely roommates. It's also a little bit like the female version of The Odd Couple, another one of my favorite TV shows. Okay, so now I'm going to head north on Palm Canyon Drive to their former Palm Springs home, which is located in the Las Palmas neighborhood of Palm Springs. It's a short walk, and along the way, I'll show you some fun and interesting sights. Now, you might remember that I visited uh, Liberace's uh, former Palm Springs home here uh, a couple of months ago. And it's right behind me here. It's right there. So you can see it's just, uh, just a block from uh, Palm Canyon Drive here. The Cheeky's Restaurant, which you see right across the street, is one of the most popular restaurants here in Palm Springs, especially for breakfast. Okay, I just walked uh, two short blocks, and I'm here at the corner of uh, Morito, Morito Place and Palm Canyon Drive, right across the street from Trio Restaurant here in Palm Springs. And I'm gonna head up the street here. Right up the street, another couple of blocks to their home. Trio is one of the many trendy restaurants here in Palm Springs, and I've eaten here, and it's very good. But to be honest, I prefer eating on the cheap I'm happy with Chinese takeout or an In-N-Out burger. And fortunately for locals and visitors, we're an international vacation destination. So we have hundreds of restaurants offering every type of food imaginable in every price range. 
Okay, so onward now. And look at this really cool mid-century modern facade. It looks more like a sculpture than the side of a building, doesn't it? Now this neighborhood is called the uh, Las Palmas neighborhood. It's pretty much like the, the Beverly Hills of Palm Springs, of the city of Palm Springs. And we have lots of really cool mid-century modern homes and condos. These are condos right here. Palm Springs is famous for golfing, for movie stars and celebrities, and for mid-century modern architecture. Those are probably the three things we're most known for here. And in this neighborhood, you can find all three. The first golf course that was built here in the city of Palm Springs is right here just a couple of blocks from Lily Tomlin's former home. Now the majority of the homes in this neighborhood are surrounded by very large hedges like this. We call them Hollywood hedges or hedge homes. And because so many A-list celebrities and stars either currently live here or have lived here in the past, it's not a big surprise that their estates are surrounded by these enormous privacy hedges. Okay, I'm now at the intersection of Merido and Coia. I'm gonna continue on one block and I'm gonna make a left on Mission. So as you can see, we're almost there and it's not as far as it may seem. And we even have mid-century modern mailboxes. The front of the house faces north, so unfortunately it's a little bit in the shade since I'm here in the morning and the sun is coming up behind the house. Okay, so we made it. Just uh, five or six blocks from downtown Palm Springs and Lily Tomlin and Jane Wagner Star, and we're standing in front of their former Palm Springs home. I just checked my pedometer and it wasn't even a mile. So in case you're wondering how I know that this was Lily Tomlin's uh, former Palm Springs home, this is how I know. I mean, it's been in all of the guidebooks and Palm Springs tours, so it's a well-known home here. But here in Palm Springs, I love the fact that quite often they'll put a plaque Owners, owners will put a plaque on the front of the home to let you know that this is the former home of a famous movie star or celebrity. So isn't that cool? That uh, former home of comedian extraordinaire Lily Tomlin. And here's a close-up so you can read it yourself. And here's a quick peek over the front gate. And let's go down a bit and see if we can see anything over the gate to the driveway. The pool is on the other side of the house and you can see it overlooks these beautiful mountains. It's really a beautiful home and street and neighborhood in a fantastic location, just walking distance to downtown. So now, as I promised at the beginning of this video, for those of you who are interested, I'm going to explain why I had to change the name of my channel. And I'm going to do that at the Wellwood Murray Cemetery, which is just around the corner and a couple of blocks south of this house. When I first started this channel about almost two years ago, I started it as a channel to share my trips down memory lane. After a few months of taking very personal trips down memory lane that no one but me and maybe a few family members would be interested in, I also started doing trips down memory lane that were of interest to a lot more people and my channel started to grow. And I wanted to have a clear focus, so I narrowed my focus down just to cemeteries and became the graveyard guy. Well, my channel grew to more than 10,000 subscribers and and more than a million and a half views. So I thought it would be time to start monetizing the channel. So I was approved by YouTube to show ads, but unfortunately, advertisers don't like channels that talk about death or dying or cemeteries or graves or anything of that nature. That means 
any of my vlogs about cemeteries cannot be monetized. Or at least, I'll show you right here what YouTube says about it. If you get a little green symbol, that means you're approved for advertising on your channel on a particular video. But if you get a yellow or gold, if you get the yellow caution symbol, which almost all of my videos now have, it means that almost no ads will ever appear on any of those videos. So in order to make a few dollars, not much, small YouTubers really don't make much in advertising. You know, you might make a dollar or two per video for a video that does really well, where you get a lot of uh, uh, views. But if you have a couple of hundred videos, it can add up to $100 or so a month, which would go a long way to help pay for gas. So every trip to the cemetery costs me about $50 to $100. And that's, and if I stay overnight at a hotel or eat or whatever, it could be, you know, a few hundred dollars per visit. So it can add up, which is fine. I mean, this is a hobby and it's a kind of a, an expensive hobby. But if I can earn gas money, at least, from YouTube ads, that helps a lot. So that's why I decided to change my name, Steve's Trips Down Memory Lane. That's really what this channel has always been about. So in order to earn gas money to pay for some of these trips, I decided to expand my trips outside of the graveyards, outside of the cemeteries. I'll, I'll continue to, to visit grave sites and cemeteries, and those videos just won't make any money. But I still love doing them, and I know a lot of you love watching them, so I'm not going to stop doing that. I'm just going to add other videos that hopefully will help me make a few bucks to help fund some of these trips. And of course, I want to thank you all for supporting this channel with your purchases. I really appreciate it, and it really helps. And for more trips down memory lane like this one, click on the featured videos here.